Hi, everybody. It's Pastor Rob from Rose Park Baptist Church in Holland, Michigan. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Well, this is your midday Bible break, and today we're going to be in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 12 and verse 8. Our topic today on our truth from the Word of God today is titled this, Put Your Own Shoes On. Now, I'll read the text, and that'll make a lot more uh, sense. But in Acts chapter 12 and verse 8, the Bible says, And the angel said unto him, that's Peter, Gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Now, let me give you the situation here. Uh, the early church at, had, was doing well. Things were going fantastic. People were getting saved left and right. But then we get to Acts chapter 12, and they hit a wall. They hit a problem. And there was a man by the name of Herod. He was the one of the descendants of Herod the Great that uh, tried to exterminate Jesus. And by the way, when you study the book, uh, uh, the Gospels and the book of Acts, there's a lot of people by the name of Herod. That's because Herod was a lot like George Foreman, or George Foreman was a lot like Herod, and he named all of his kids after himself, even his daughters. And so when you're studying the Bible and you've run across the name Herod, you have to be careful which Herod you're reading about. Well, this Herod was just as bad as his father, and uh, he had killed James the uh, Apostle, and he put Peter in prison, and he was planning on killing Peter. Um, uh, but the church got together and they were praying for him and God did something wonderful. God sent an angel, uh, to the prison where Peter was being kept in prison and in the middle of the night, surrounded by guards, chained to the wall, the angel comes in and the doors open and the light shines and the chains fall off. And the, the Bible says the angel smites Peter and says, get up. But then he makes a very important, uh, statement. He says, gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. You see, the truth that this Bible verse illustrates for us is this. There are some things that only God can do, but there are some things that God expects us to do. Now, we have to be careful. The Bible tells us very clearly, don't lean on our own understanding. Don't lean on our own abilities or our, or our own finances. God does expect us to go to him. God does expect us to look to him, but God has given you wisdom and strength and resources. And God says, hey, there are some things that you can do. It's like a, a parent with a young child. At a certain age and development with a child, you expect that child to be able to feed themselves. You expect that, that child to be able to put their own coat on and put their own shoes on and tie their shoes. Now, there's nothing wrong with a parent helping a child and teaching a child and raising a child. But at some point, uh, you know, when they're 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, they should be able to put their shoes on and feed themselves. The angel says to Peter, he says, bind on thy sandals. There are things that God's not going to do for you and he's not going to do for me because he says, you can do that for yourself. So maybe today you've been looking around and you're, you're, you're looking at this and you're looking at that and you say, well, I wish this would happen or I wish that would happen. And maybe God just saying, well, why don't you make it happen? All right. There are things that only God can do and we need to look to God to them. But there are things that we can do and God is looking to us to do them. So the truth from the Word of God today is, put your own shoes on. Hope this has been a blessing. I hope this has been a help. God bless you. This is Pastor Rob, and until we meet again, let's keep looking unto Jesus.